What's going on everyone? ICTH here, back with some more Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we started on Sea Slide, and in this episode, we're going to continue with Sea Slide. You know why? Because it's Sea Slide. That's all. That's the only reason you need. Alright, let's go ahead and get the second star here. As we go faster than a speeding penguin. For we are Super Mario. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, we were super playing Superman 64 last episode, so why don't we just continue with the Superman theme, huh? Are we able to leap tall peaches in a single bound? I mean, wait. No, uh, what? Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is where I thought there was a uh, secret star. Um, this is not the uh, episode. It's actually after that thing right there is created. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm going to talk to. You see, so I shall run. We've got a penguin race starting here soon. One in. Sure, why not? We'll go ahead and do it. All right, this race is on. Okay, well now we're doing the giant fluzzard race from Mario Galaxy 2, except in underwater swimming to catch up to the um, penguin form. Let's go ahead and catch up to some penguins, shall we? A little red shell action here, and I've hurt nobody. Just keep your tail in the water, and just ride the shell. You should be just fine. I mean, see? Don't do what I got did. Don't try to jump. It only slows you down. That was the, as with all races, slowing yourself down it's never a good sign. Cause then if you slow down uh, I'm a bit off not racing. See? So this is pretty easy. Once you get past that uh first place penguin, all you gotta do is just keep riding your shell to the end and not jump like an idiot. Try to keep yourself underneath to going through these little um, rings, keep yourself on the water, you should be just fine. Low ring speeds you up, so it gives you even more distance between first and second. You see, this, this galaxy is actually pretty easy. This is not this galaxy, this level is actually pretty easy. Or this gulp, this, this star. There we go, we'll get it right eventually. Ah, one in 1840. Nice. Here's your gold medal, champ. Hey, and somehow he pulls a star from. I don't know what he was undoing. He doesn't have pockets. Penguins don't have pockets. No matter. We got a star. <laughs> Wahoo! Star number 72. We're making progress, ladies and gentlemen. We are making progress. Just sitting in here, making copies. I mean, wait. Wrong, wrong, wrong thing. Um, <laughs> hey, Hungry Luma. And he's right there at the engine room. We're gonna tackle him later. Right now, we got some more stars to get in. Um, and see, hey, Cosmic Comet. Let's fly. Let's fly there. Why? It's a Cosmic Comet. Well, what else do I do? All right. So, Cosmic Comet's the nor com Cosmic Comet is in orbit. We got the underwater Cosmic Mario race. Oh God, that already sounds like a horrible. T that sounds like a freaking what you what you get when you mix uh, a gin with a I mean a whiskey and a tonic. I don't know. People may drink that. That's just my example. I don't know. It just doesn't match, you know. Just like underwater and cosmic Mario. Now, your objective, just like every other Cosmic Mario race, is to get the launch, not launch star, the power star, before Cosmic Mario. This one's a little harder though, as now you're underwater. Also, he has control of shells too, so... You have to really get the shells before he does, as well as make sure you take as many of these red, uh... Red and yellow rings as possible because you want to reach the platform before he does. 
And do you have long jumps for your friends? You want to use them? Otherwise, something like this will happen. Now that was bull. He knows I got that star first. So, yeah, that was a load of crap. We're going to just do that again. And this time, we're not going to, um... We're not going to lose. Three, two, I, I don't know why I just launched all my, my uh, star bits at him. Uh, but, yeah, I think we are done screwed up. But, hey, look, use his head as, um, boost. Should be able to get a little bit of, uh... Should be able to get a little bit of, uh... Base, or a little bit of what you got. See, nothing major. Just managed to get a good lead. Just get a good lead. And you should be just fine. Easy. I mean, yeah, you see, you can hear him right behind me. Now, nah, just run, Mario. Run. Run. Run, you bitch. Run. Run. Ha! Ah, take that, Cosmic Mario. Give my damn sugar cookie and we can continue on. <laughs> ah, well, that's star number 73. And then the next episode, we're... What do you mean? There's more video. <laughs> yeah, there's more video. Star number 73. We got we got enough time to get a third star. I mean, two episodes, two stars in six minutes. That's just not good. So let's go ahead and go to the sea slide and get uh, us another star, shall we? Alright, star number three in Sea Slide. Ugh, I cannot stand this one. The Silver Stars of Sea Slide. Oh my god, this one's just a pain in the ass to get. Why, you ask? Well, there are some stars that if you haven't played this galaxy in a little bit, you're gonna forget they're there. <sighs> oh, okay, excuse me. I yawned a lot like this because I'm tired. So, oh well. What you want to do, you want to go ahead and get the beast room. We're going to start by getting the beast room. It's no big deal. See? So you use this cloud as a little platform. And get uh, silver star number one right here. I love the sound the stars make whenever you get them. Alright, go ahead and get over here right fast. No big deal, no harm, no foul. See, see, see? Easy breezy. Oh, but let's not forget there's also a Hungry Luma over there. Oh yeah, I think I saw a Silver Star somewhere over there. Alright, that's where we want to go, but also, there's a Hungry Luma. We want to go ahead and, um... I don't know if we're going to take care of this Hungry Luma first, though. Let's see. Let's see what the... First off, we're gonna go ahead and launch ourselves into this cannon here. Get, yeah, we don't want to launch ourselves into the black hole, Mario. <laughs> Let's go ahead and land on Starship Mario, or Starship, Star, sh the Star Shroom. Excuse me. Get Star uh, Shroom. Yeah. Silver Star Number Two. Okay. Let's go ahead and launch ourselves back over to the main planet. Um. Yeah, I decided to say, go ahead and screw the um. Hungry Luma for now because, well, this mission is going to take up a lot of time. Especially when you don't remember where the stars are and just go ahead and say screw the feature. We don't need it. We're men and real men don't need the. Real men obviously don't need shells either. <laughs> okay, but nah, no big deal. Go ahead and get this, um. These little bit of Star Wars to get our beast room back. What's all this buzz about this bee mushroom? This. This is all the buzz about the bee mushroom. Let's see what you guys say. Well, we'll wait and see what you guys say. But yeah, I don't know why I keep trying to flap. There is nothing up there. There isn't. Let's go ahead and grab Mr. Koopa. Let's take his shell. I take his shell. Oh my god, excuse me. Alright. Let's see. But, you know what? Screw him. Looking good, Mario. Oh, you're not a you're not a penguin. <laughs> you sound like a freaking penguin. Or do all my penguins sound like toads? I don't know. But yeah, somehow I was just being a derp and decided to go. Hey, take a dip. And then I realized bees can't swim. Oh no. Um. Actually, I think I have a reasoning beyond that. I don't quite know. 
but yeah. Go and open up the chest. Oh, Starbit. Yeah. Stupid Starbit. Huh. Starbit ain't worth two crafts. How many stars worth two? Alright, no big deal. There, see, there's one over there. If you want to go see the captain, just use this sling star. Uh, what well, if I don't want to see the captain? What well, if I just want to get a silver star? Like the one up there, see? There's number three. Alright, see? Three stars down, two to go. Um, yeah, I was seeing if there's something at the top of that. Uh, I think it's kind of impossible to get up there without a glitch or some sort of, um, like super special, um, trick or something. Yeah, but I'm gonna try it again anyway. Because, ask me, I am icy. I try stuff even if it almost damn near impossible. I said, oh, this would have been loads easier if I could actually, uh, backflip. But I can't. But you know what? I am also a very stubborn hedgy. Yeah, yeah. I'm stubborn. If you don't like my stubbornness, GTFO. <laughs> Kidding, guys. I love y'all peeps. Ah, uh, but yeah. Let's go ahead and just take this launch star back to the captain. Yeah, let's do some. Let's sling star, excuse me. I know I have some the galaxy pose like, this is your launch star. <laughs> oh boy. Um, anyway. Let's go ahead and get this, uh, flower of this rock. See? Nothing to it. There's a launch star. Launch star. Silver star. Over here in the trees as well. You can take care of the spider. See, it looks like obviously killing enemies gives you fly power too, which doesn't make an ounce of sense. But hell, we will take it. See, go ahead and take it. Get away, leech! Get off me, leech! Get off me. Um. Okay. Go ahead and fly up here. Leech! Get off me. Is just me or they look like the a fat version of the Twitter bird? I don't know. Somehow Mario games seem that Mario hacks and Mario games seem to have a fascination with the Twitter bird. I don't mean was Twitter even out back then? Around the time this game came out in 07? I didn't think so. But I'm assuming we're gonna go ahead and get star number five, I believe, which is go for what you guys have. Are checked around, but there's not between here and the house, see? Well, fine. Let's go ahead and fly. Why are we flying back to the captain? I'll never know. Um. Everyone here is helping us look for those silver stars. Hey, I got four of them. You want these? Can you, help, can you give me the hint on how to get number five? Hello? Toad? Hint? Please? No? Okay. Fine. Well, I don't need no stinking, uh. Be shroom anyway. I'm sorry, but because we're starting number five, we're gonna lose the beach room anyway, so we're gonna. I, I, yeah, I remember. I wanted to take a quick trip around the planet. Why? I mean, because this video hasn't gone on long enough <laughs> to where I said, hey, look, I'm just gonna take a quick trip. Ain't nobody gonna miss me. Everybody's gonna be fine while waiting on me to get star number five. You see, nobody's really even trying to get the silver stars. Except for Mario. Mario's the only one doing all the work. Why is Mario doing all the work? Because the toads are lazy. And Mario almost killed himself. The toads are lazy. The freaking penguins are lazy. They're all freaking lazy. I mean, hell, you could, I mean, I could, I can excuse Guppy because, well, Guppy is a fish and all the, all the silver stars are, um, above water. Um, but, the penguins, penguins can walk on land, the toads are land-based, uh, um, what's the word, land-based, uh, Creatures. I must call them creatures. Uh, no relation to the creature uh, creature hub, by the way. Anyway, 
Yeah. Go ahead and do a couple star bits here. I kinda got lost. I was sitting there meditating. See, Mario goes, when Mario meditates, he goes on a tree. You see over there is star piece number five. Star, star piece number five. Star number five. Silver star number five. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that star. There's nothing to it but to do it, eh, bruh? Yeah, bruh. Oh, mm, excuse me. Looking good, Mario. Well, he's top checking me out, Toad. I ain't interested. I don't want your damn phone number. Toads don't even have phones. I don't care. But yeah. See, this ain't good. This level ain't really that difficult. It's a matter of uh, just knowing where your silver stars are and um, playing them. I'm just glad this mission isn't timed. Because if it's if it was timed, we'd all be screwed. All right. Um. But yeah. See, I made this actually ten times harder than it's supposed to be. Because if you look deep down here, there's a spigot. Turn the spigot and out shoots a wave of water. See? Wave of water leading to that planet. And what's on the top of that planet? We'll find out what's reached the top of that planet. Top of that planet? Well, the side of that planet's a big coin. Big coin? Uh, uh, use the notes. What we collect, what we get when we collect music notes? We get a gift. What is this gift? We have to collect the music notes to find out. Let's see what this gift is. It's a free life! Let's get the free life. Get it! Get it, get it! Yay! I'm gonna hop over Mr. Crab here and talk to old man Penguin. Ah, well, there's all kinds of about the sea slide. What's going on? Look behind you. Hey, look, it's the fifth uh, superstar. Five silver stars equals one power star. Let's go ahead and grab that. But in order to grab that, we have to go all the way back over there. Hey, make things ten times easier. Launch star. Thank you, launch star. Take me all the way back over here. And from there, we're going to ride this sling star back to the home planet. Or the home area. Grab the power star and be on our way. Ah. Star. <laughs> um, but yeah, got Mr. Power Star, I think that's number 74? Yeah, 74. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with more stars in the engine room. Till next time, sayonara!